gon' step up for me Make sure my fans stay cause my daughter gotta eat I know I ain't perfect Hello everyone and thank you for coming back to my channel That channel is Del Chanel Sprays World Thank you, thank you, thank you for all of the support you have been giving me in my channel. Thank you for all your likes, your shares of my videos, and subscribing to my channel. Continue to continue, continue to do so. Like, share, and subscribe. Like, share, and subscribe. And definitely comment. You know I want you to speak your mind. But let's get on into this must-see video that we're bringing out from Celebrity Insider. Yes, Ron Collins is the journalist over there putting out this salacious story on none other than two, three of our housewives. Okay, Real Housewives of Atlanta is what I'm referring to. All right, his article he give us for his... Um, with the title he give us for his article that he's producing out on his platform. It goes, Real Housewives of Atlanta, Kenya Moore says someone came for her and Portia Williams. All right, let's get right on into it. It says, Kenya Moore told the Real Housewives of Atlanta fans that someone is out to get her and Portia Williams. If you saw the most recent Real Housewives of Atlanta episode, then you probably uh, know who she's talking about. Honey, she's talking about none other than Eva Marcel. Yes, that woman right there. Okay, who that woman, Harpo? Who is that doggone woman? All right, going back to the article, it says a follower posted and like she was stuttering, not to cause drama, but if y'all really paid attention, Cynthia was the one who made the negative energy comment. All right, now they bringing in Cynthia Bailey as the mess starter, the bone carrier. If you hadn't caught it on season one, you should have been uncaught it on season. I mean, not season one. You should have been uncaught it on uh, episode one. But if you didn't catch it one, you should have caught it on two. Or you just slow. <laughs> You just slow. You just need to sit down and just take notes, okay? But anyway, we go back to the article. It says, someone else said, Eva, really? Cynthia, really? I'm tired of some of these women. I always try to make it seem as if Kenya is out here foul. Since Eva saying she don't know what your real eye color is. Hell, what's her maiden name, Pig for or Marcel? <laughs> Question mark several times, okay? Stop even with your fake wannabe bohemian ass. You ain't Erica Badu, and she probably would never be Erica Badu because Erica is really pro, 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 really pro United Black, okay? Um, that's my pun, not in this uh, article. Okay, going back to the article, it says, an upset fan asked Kenya, why didn't Cynthia back you up? She knows you better than everyone. She should have been like, no, Eva, Kenya won't hurt your kids. Another follower said, believes that Cynthia is playing safe. And I don't appreci appreciate how she approached the situation of Eva and Kenya. Another commenter said, someone else said, Eva should have stayed home, but the check was calling. Laugh out loud. I know, honey, whoever that commenter was, yes, Eva come when it's time for her to tape and make that money. Because Mr. Sterling, who she married to, he ain't got it like that. Or if so, she wouldn't be on this uh particular Real Housewives of Atlanta franchise. But to keep it all hush, hush, but you know I got to come give you my coffee. I got to pour it right popping hot to you. They got a petition going on to excommunicate, get rid of, delete, mute Eva Marcel. Check it out. It's online at, I think it's care.org. But anyway, going back to this article, it said a fan posted a question as well. Why do you keep forgiving this messy flip-flop of Bailey at Cynthia Bailey 10? I can't stand Nene, but she might be up to something with this flip-flop. In more exciting news, Kenya celebrated her baby girl's first birthday and she decided to take her cute daughter to Paris. She shared a couple of pics with Brooklyn Daily on her social media platform or account and fans are happy to see uh, Kenya so joyful. Okay, don't let Kenya, uh, <laughs> don't let Kenya put you on mute, honey. She over there enjoying herself, but she got to come back and set things straight with Eva Marcel. Don't get it twisted. Kenya is full of surprises, full of tricks, and she just giving y'all that long playlist she gonna have for y'all. But she gonna come back and get Eva Marcel together. I don't know if we seeing the last of Eva Marcel, because you knew. Well, you probably didn't know, but if you go into my archives of videos, it's one that I talk about even myself hooking up with Ricky Smiley's show. Uh, 
they will start their new season. I think it's in Dallas, Texas, Houston, Texas, somewhere. I think it's in Texas somewhere where she's going to be uh, linking up with Ricky Smiley in the morning show and doing their broadcasting from over there. But she's saying it wasn't true when it was uh, being brought out on social media everywhere. Okay. She's saying it wasn't true. She's still with Real Housewives of Atlanta. But honey, how she cutting up now, I don't think it's too far from nothing because they finna try to boycott and get Eva Marcel on out of Atlanta, honey. Just like they did Claudia Jordan. She don't play her hands. She don't went over her hands. She got to know how to hold, when to fold, and when to get the hell out of Dodge. Okay. With you know, spreading too much information coming from her opinionated self, okay? You don't dog out your own race. When you're looking just like you need to belong, you're just a lighter uh, version of the black race, the African or uh, American race. We come in many different shades and colors, baby. That's how we get down. We boss people, all right? Everybody trying to be like us. They don't say it, but they do it when we see their structure, their makeup, you know? Europeans look a certain way, but then they try to look like they, you know, part of our race with the big lips, the big butts, the big breasts, you know, that comes naturally to us, but it just is what it is. So I don't know what happened to Eva. So she don't bumped her head or something. She don't got out of out of line. She need to get back information. Beyonce, where you at, honey? Where you at? Come get Miss Eva myself. Teach her a lesson or two. Elisa Ray, the brat over there at Dish Nation and the Rick and Smiling Show looking at Eva left-handed, right-handed and probably want to put her hands on all of Eva's body. Not in a good way. Okay, allegedly, of course. But yeah, she got mad over there serving up plates and stuff of revenue and then she gonna dog out her own co-host. Okay, while well, she was on maternity leave. Nah, the brat ain't gonna ever forget that. Cause when Beretta Tat Tat is with you, she all with she's all the way rolling with you and she would defend. She she got jail time record. She don't care. <laughs> Rick and Smile will be like, sir, your time, but baby you got a job when you come out. But ooh, that was just my pun intended, not a part of that man's article. But y'all, that's what I had for y'all for that celebrity insider news, that tea that I brought to y'all, coffee I'm serving, and juice I'm pouring up if you care for it. If you don't bring your own bottle over into this house, because it is a family affair. Do you hear me? It is a family affair over here where we can get down here. I speak my mind, you speak your mind, and then we just turn it off. <laughs> <laughs> and go to bed and have a good night's rest. But y'all, that's all I have for this video. Make sure y'all check it out. Make sure y'all like it, share, subscribe to my channel, and I will see you next video. Blessings. Good night.